very good morning to students today i am going to explain about the basic uh, control blasting techniques and uh, deck charging that is one part of that one and also secondary blasting methods this is a, a unique uh, topic and most of the uh, mining uh, open cast mining blasting phenomena is generalized but the special conditions were will occur and also depending upon the nature of the rock uh, we need to uh, go for the uh, some uh, deck uh, charging methods that is also part of the control blasting to improvising the uh, without affecting the uh, in around uh, structures or uh, uh, controlling our activities to control blasting is to control is the thing and also the unnecessary wastage of explosives instead of the low strength uh, rock using the high strength of explosives uh, avoiding that situations to uh, reducing of the cost of the explosives these are the factor going to be discussed in the uh, coming uh, around 47 slides on there right my name is uh, karuna kumar okay uh, head of the mining engineering now uh, the duration of this is a uh, 50 minutes this is a part of the drilling and blasting uh, most of the sub topic is uh, uh, deck charging control blasting secondary blasting techniques by ppt and video explanation is going on right uh, after completion of this topic can able to understand uh, deck charging or loading and its applicability control blasting secondary blasting so we are already uh, well aware that the procedure of the uh, different type of uh, drilling uh, how to their charging the firing procedures in part of the blast hole a uh, blast hole pattern as well as the firing patterns also we are all aware that uh, single row multi row blasting and square patterns v uh, cut patterns uh, staggered patterns drill holes so these are the already covered in the last uh, class now what is the mean by deck charge deck charge is a uh, one of the control technique uh, adapted to distribute uh, the blasting energy to the entire length of the drill hole this method is followed in benches with varying strata and uh, grade the primary charge is a uh, given at the bottom of the hole followed by the base charge so this is the basic idea the behind the uh, deck charge mean deck means empty nothing so uh, the entire drill length cannot be uh, distributed the explosive uh, the prime charge is given at the bottom the hole followed by the base charge but remain portion where the strata depending upon the strata uh, you are providing the deck charge. so simple uh, one sketch is i showing here you can easily understanding the uh, how the deck Uh, or uh, air deck or some some uh, called as a wooden deck charge this is a dry hole this is a wet hole this is the air deck here the first the drill column is showing the deck is equal to hole diameter into 6 so hole diameter is this hole the 6 is that uh, uh, column uh, explosive the how much filling here is you can see that this is the only the stemming material that means the what are the uh, drill out material that can power into for the the effectiveness to instead of coming outside the uh, same direction free face side instead of going the our aim to the deconsolidate is uh, effectiveness is here required so uh, the one third stemming is uh, as your practice 
Now coming to the explosives, the field with the prime charge base charge is here itself. And also some deck is left here. So deck means there is a nothing is there in this one. Uh, not explosive. Or uh, sometimes they are using charcoal, uh, a wooden meal. Uh, it can be filled or uh, small thermocol sheets can be filled in tech places. So they again explosive. So depending upon the rocky nature, we are very weak rocky nature. We can be left to this type of uh, methodology. So this is a one a deck dry hole uh, filling filling with the decking procedure, alternative decking procedures. So explosive. So deck again explosive and stemming. Stemming nature and deck nature also same. Uh, same property, same color. That is why the same color is showing. Uh, here uh, some uh, reddish color is showing the explosives. Now coming to the next wet hose. For example, this is a wet hose. So hole diameter to 12 times. So here the explosive, a deck is more. It is a, a column is more and explosive and stemming for the so you can detect means the nothing you can feel uh, explosive not presents. Another is the air deck that is the explosive. So here air deck means the gap between the explosive and uh, stemming between there will be air gap. So for that one there is a plug is provided here. So this is the air gap. Over that one the stemming material will be fill it with uh, for the effectiveness of the explosive activity. So now I think you can uh, able to understand what is the mean by the deck. Deck means a uh, entire column of explosive not fill the explosive along the stemming there are some areas left intensively. So that uh, th that is the procedure is called the decking. So if you left the air, that means without any filling any other material, that is called the air deck. So uh, I hope that the, 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 these three uh, figures, alternative figures, you are able to understand the basic uh, idea of the deck charge, decking charge. Now I go to the next slide. Yes. Here also, this is the surface area. This is showing here. This is the tail column. So tail column. Uh, stemming material is filled here up to here. Uh, expanded into the side walls. This is also stemming. The explosive is filled here. Rope goes uh, right through the cup and cone. The rope is inserted. Air gap is there. Uh, so washer and the streaming is also there. Cup expanded into the inside the walls. So this is the air gap. This is one method of air decking. Here providing air gap. Here is providing gap. Here is providing the air gap. Then. Then, deck charging is a one of uh, control technique uh, adapted to distribute the blasting energy to the entire length of the drill hole. This method is followed in benches with varying strata and grade. The prime charge is given at the bottom of the hole followed by the base charge. Uh, then a part of the hole is filled with the stemming material and the same procedure is repeated as shown in the uh, the figure below, uh, it is coming. Figure is coming. The different uh, parts and the, which is already showing here. Uh, so this is another figure. Uh, so this is the basic idea. We can deck charge is a one of the control degrees. This is also nothing with a, but a separation. This deck is nothing but a separate. It is a control for the distribution of blast energy uh, instead of uh, entire length, uh, depending upon the strata and grading. So this is also one more example. Uh, 
uh, how uh, the distribution of shock waves and uh, the, which you can see is here easily. This is a stemming. Here, this is a stemming meter up to 2.5 to 3.5 meters. Uh, 2.5 to 3.5 meters stemming material is there. The power plug is there. The power plug, nothing but uh, uh, obstacle. They create in the obstacle uh, to not go to the stemming material to downwards. Uh, the first, the ANFO and the prime charge exposures are filled. So you put the air gap here, and there is a plug is inserted here. There is a semi material. So we see that if uh, uh, if it is air gap is not there, the shock wave to get the free phase. This is shock wave getting the free phase. Um, shock wave get free phase, um, and the plug is a, a obstacle creating the not falling down by the this above uh, stemming material inside. So this is the uh, air deck uh, method to fill the uh, blast hole. The preparation of the air deck. So, what to go through the next slide also? There's a multi deck is also there. Multi deck means uh, the, some area you have to use the explosives. Uh, uh, stemming is there. Here, the stemming column is there. Prime explosive uh, and uh, prime X is there. Stemming material again. Prime X and some S and a prime X is there. Uh, stemming is there. Prime X is there. So these are the uh, multi deck in a whole delay method uh, for the purpose of uh, which which area I want to more energy transfer, which energy is rest is required depending upon the geological and rock character, rock strata character. Uh, you, you are um, you, the decking is maintained. Deck charge, deck charge uh, will result in less oversized boulders. This is one advantage. And we'll have smaller under uncontrolled zone of rock uh, breaking. Uh, in generally, in the lower part of the hole, that is up to two third of the charge is placed. <coughs> and the remaining one third of the explosives are distributed in the upper on two decks. The explosive in the upper deck is generally of lower strength compared to the bottom charge. The charge at each of the deck are primary separate. So this is the uh, hierarchical procedure of the uh, filling of the explosive versus stemming of the, the particular column of the blast hole. Uh, deck charge uh, with the air gap is a, a modified technique. In this type of charge or gaps are uh, introduced at the places where stemming is required within the help of the expanding type airbags the number of decks and the length of the stemming column uh, air gap depending upon the nature of the rocks the length of the air gap is generally varies from the 20 to 35 percent the length of the hole control blasting is a generally followed in place where the missionary and a building it is generally followed to prevent fly rock and minimizing the vibrations. The type of control blasting generally followed to prevent these problems are uh, most of the uh, way the um, general, uh, uh, what are the other type of problems encountered in the that, uh, that can it will be minimized by the control blast. So we, we can see the some more. Uh, idea about the control blasting in a tunneling a road and a railroad um, it is a uh, one of the utmost important that uh, remaining rock is a uh, high quality in order to avoid the rock fall um, rock slides and excessive maintenance of work 
sometimes line drilling also you are using sometimes uh, line drilling is the earliest control blasting method uh, the purpose of line drilling is to create the plane of the weakness by the drilling closely spaced small diameter hole along the perimeter of the excavation to which the blast can be break uh, a line drilling line drill holes are usually not over 75 mm in diameter and the spacing is a two, two to four times the diameter of the hole the hole depth should not be uh, more than 12 meter since uh, deviation uh, in a longer hole uh, may produce adverse results these holes are not charged so this is the main imp a very important with the line drilling is concerned most of the granite uh, mines these line drill drillings are used uh, the, once again i repeating the line drilling is the earliest control blasting method the purpose of line drilling is to create the plane of weakness by drilling closely spaced uh, small diameter holes uh, along the perimeter of the excavation to which the blast can be break line drill holes are usually not over 75 mm in diameter and the spacing is two to four times of the diameter of the hole uh, the hole depth should not be more than uh, 12 meter the hole depth uh, should not be more than the uh, 12 meter since the deviation of the long hole may be produce have adverse results so these holes are to be charged will not be charged this simply the making the holes and leave it uh, this is a method of uh, one of the control blasting technique uh, the earlier method this is the present method you are using already showing the most uh, uh, deck charging methods these are the other control uh, blasting methods so there are some uh, video pictures of the control blastings in uh, using the various mines uh, picks let us uh, see that galax Right, this is a one type of uh, control blasting. Uh, so this is another uh, activity. The entire uh, discontrol is not any affecting the sites of other uh, area. It will be just a blast and stable there only. Just, this is the one advantage. A complete energy at least for the our uh, motive, the motive of the our aim is to um, stabilize that the particular uh, um, area instead of uh, that the energy will be transmitted somewhere else uh, that not should not be happened. So see that this is the major area. This is a more picture. And then another one. This is the one more. See that the, the explosivity activities uh, raised and falling same itself. Should not affecting the other areas also. This is the main of the control blasting. Our uh, yeah, how the uh, explosive are uh, filled in the, the inside. The more explosive using, the complete shattering effect and remain uh, other diversifying effects are happening in the around that. That should not be um, raised. That should not be uh, creating due to our blasting activity. The energy should be utilized in proper way is the main motto of uh, control blasting. The energy uh, where you are using uh, using our energy is very important. So this is one of the pre-splitting concept, uh, basic concept of how this is working. Uh, pre slitting already area line drilling is shown here. This is the pre uh, holes are drilled here. Uh, this is also another holes. Shear zone. This is the shear zone. The shock wave race is going like this. That is also going like this. Pre split charging methods. Uh, common charging methods in uh, pre split holes to minimize. Uh, near field blast damage uh, air deck charging is a one, one of uh, activity air deck is there air deck and suspended charges this is from the 
over that one suspend charges are provided this is one method and low density charging uh, methodology this is another method continuous column charge continuous column charge so common charging methods are presupposed to be minimizing the field blasting damages uh, this is air take is one thing uh, suspended charge is another thing low density charging is another uh, continuous column charging is also uh, one of the uh, method of the pre splitting charging method whole diameter is 150 mm whole diameter is 150 mm shocking tube is given uh, this is a bench height 6 meters this is stemming column this is the explosive column uh, the overall shock wave uh, can be produced. this is a simple uh, blast hole uh, act, um, activity that's all uh, how uh, blasting is activity is going on uh, by showing this uh, simple figure then charging of free shooting and uh, pro production holes Here you can observe the these are the drill holes for uh, pre splitting of the, this part two away from uh, so that the pre splitting create up to 12 meters second possible, not more than that, without any uh, feeling of explosive. This is the actual production holes one, two, three. This is the uh, six holes are the production holes, and they are filled with the explosive column. These are filled with the explosive column. This is a cast blasting. And this is another model. Uh, these are the pre split to holes. These are the production holes. Uh, blast with the tech charge. These are the deck applications. Here. Deck, this is the empty showing the deck. So, some conditions with the rock start are very weak in nature. So, that you go for the uh, decking. Uh, by putting the plug, uh, air plug, uh, air deck or something material, loose material, uh, wood mold, wood 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 mill also can be filled with these caps. It's called deck. If you simply lift it, you see called well, air deck. Then. Uh, deck uh, blasting hole uh, without a plug. So, because sometimes they are uh, using plug. Uh, without plug means they are filled with some material. So, and this is a uh, two meter stemming. The blue, the green color is giving. Uh, 110 kg parallax uh, of the explosive. Um, uh, one 12 months of the explosive nature. Second, uh, two meter and again stemming is there. Next, other explosives are filling, charging of the screen cages. Powder factor is almost 0 0.37, will get in the, the this type of columns. Well, uh, coming to the other uh, three deck charging in each hole or uh, uh, sites where the uh, where there are uh, restrictions on uh, uh, vibrations, each subcharge has its own delay time. There is a 101 milliseconds uh, delay uh, between the rows and 57 milliseconds between the holes in the rows. Within the exceptional of holes, uh, one and two in the first row. This is a very simply showing here. This is a U150 explosive column.
But you get also the Detroit is numbering also is mentioned here. The holes, the numbering also given, the millisecond numbers. And then this is the bench uh, blasting of was uh, it inclined blasting, this inclined blasting technique. Uh, initiation of uh, uh, sequence 1, 2, and uh, 3. It's an initiation sequence. Smooth holes that are prepared. This is a smooth blasting purpose. The buffer buffer holes are so they created here. Similarly, initiation of uh, 1, 2, 3. Production holes, uh, buffer holes. Uh, proper holes is there. 1, 2, 3. So this is the uh, blasting blasting phenomenon is going up. This is another uh, method for understanding for the how holes uh, position of boosters uh, 300 mm about the uh, blasting plugs uh, they how to their insert it. They're showing here. Then coming to the muffled blasting and cushion blasting. These are so, most of the muffled blast, cushion blasting is not rising. For example, any city, for example, in Hyderabad or metropolitan area, lot of uh, works are going on. If any uh, un unwanted uh, uh, firing is happening for during roadside or any other, that will be affected severely. In such case, blanketing of the explosive, uh, col uh, explosive columns by uh, netting. Uh, if any blast happen within the uh, that uh, matting, uh, this is also called a one type of cushion blasting or a muffled blasting. Uh, this type of blasting is generally employed to prevent fly rocks. That is a very important. Uh, the drill block is completely covered with the chain link or mesh. Uh, weights such as a uh, used uh, tires and rubber scrappers are placed over the chain mesh. That over that uh, complete uh, area is uh, uh, covered with uh, this type of uh, mats or uh, rubber tires or something. So that if any incident is coming outside, it will be arrested at the above itself. Arrested above itself. Uh, that uh, that the, the charge is reduced and the number of drill cells are to be increased. Uh, blasting usually done with electrical delay detonators. Uh, the blasting is usually done with electrical uh, delay detonators or radiant. Uh, this is a generally usage of uh, detonators. The chain mesh provided. Uh, the chain mesh is provided uh, preventing the fly rock efficiency. Uh, they provide the fly rock efficiency. Another cushion blasting. Uh, this type of blasting is generally followed to minimize the blasting vibrations. Uh, the method requires a number of uh, drill holes uh, uh, on the primary of the drill block. These drill holes act as a free face uh, to the drill uh, holes and as a cushion to the blast uh, vibrations. This method requires perfect streaming. This is equal the this is also the one part of the uh, uh, preventing of the flow right and unnecessary um, go, um, the energy will transform pressed other way. The cushion um, also the creating uh, reducing the vibrations also. Uh, you see the some more uh, uh, pictures here. This is the one part of the uh, charging smooth uh, contour primary blasting in the tunnels. Uh, you can observe here. This is a fair fairy. The contour holes are made prepared here. This is a contour. Under the this is the buffer hole. These two are the actual 
a production holes. So see that like how much explosive are you utilizing there. Sometimes these are empty holes are so filled with not filling any, any firing procedure these holes. The periphery, this is the periphery blasting. The smooth periphery is required sometimes in a projects, a highway project, railway projects. So such cases, this example is very suitable. Then it is a complete uh, uh, groove operations of uh, the particular uh, what are different uh, type of uh, loading and firing, uh, the dimensions of spacing and firing procedure is also mentioned here. In, uh, in this column, the, uh, this is the blast hole, this is also blast hole, this is blast hole section, this is a 3.5. Uh, the distance between the row to row, the three meters is row to row. Uh, these are the pre blasting blasting. Uh, these are pre which means this will be left over the uh, without any exposure filling. That column is showing here. This is the blast hold column also. Normal production blasting within the uh, these three are given the 4.5 meters. The button is showing here 4.43 meters. Then Free face is this side, so free face is showing here. The, the, the similarly, the holes are will be connected in such a way that they are connected in such a way that the firing activity is going on. So, DTH, uh, this is uh, stemming the explosive 90 kg is using 7.5 3 meters left for stemming. This is the production rows for the purpose, and similarly, buffer rows are there. The buffer buffer source is the stemming explosives. It. And left the some area gap and again explosives also is given and uh, detonating cards are uh, exp uh, inserted in such a way that pre splitting rows uh, the simple detonating card being inserting like uh, left the uh, that uh, uh, splitting rows And also the here, uh, one open cost bench is showing here. This is a high wall. This is also another bench slope angle. This is a uh, actual uh, blasting activities going on. Here is showing the pre-split is given. This is the pre-splits. Normal production uh, holes are here given. This is the buffer rows. Additional shallow holes are given. So this is the showing the section. 3 meters, 3 meters, 0.9 meters, and also angle. The angle should be maintained so that also it means 75 degrees angle is there. The slope of the bench 
the 10 meters is the depth of the wedge height. A simple figure the, with the dimensionally we are showing here. And then control blasting methods are used to control adverse impacts. So, what are the adverse uh, uh, impacts? The control in my why you are going to directly you can use that means controlling the means what something you have to control. The control means what are these controls such as over break, this is one of the controlling, reduce the ground vibrations, this is another one, reduce fractures, reduce the fractures within the remaining rock walls, reduce the noise, reduce dilution, waste of the rocks. These are the major control blasting uh, activities, uh, adverse impacts to control. So control blasting methods are used to control adverse impacts. Again, I have given here uh, the, the waste rocks also, overbreak, ground uh, pro, pro, vibrations, reducing fractures within the remaining rock walls, Reducing the noise, reducing the dilution of waste rock. This is the prime motto of the control blast. So now I am concluding the blasting is concerned. Uh, that is a control blasting. I hope you are all uh, uh, able to understand uh, um, uh, what is the basic motto and how uh, blast holes uh, can be explosive reducing and uh, other act, uh, techniques by air or tech. Uh, uh, blast hole and also the sequence of pre splitting is purpose and buffer uh, blast buffering and cushion blastings. These are the covered in the above uh, slides. Now I am going into the secondary blasting. Uh, what is the meaning of secondary blasting? Already primary blasting is already completed. So some situations uh, you need go through for the secondary. For example, uh, when a uh, blasting knot is uh, properly happening large boulders are uh, created so the boulders cannot be lifted by the uh, excavators so transportation of uh, dumpers is also inconvenient in such condition in special cases uh, secondary blasting is what goes for the secondary blasting secondary blasting also they have the different type of uh, secondary plastic techniques are using depending upon the uh, uh, blasting edge depending upon the Procedure where you are attacking the, that particular boulder. So the popularly known methods are the uh, secondary blasting is done in the breaking the oversized boulders and toy results from the primary blasting. The methods are generally adapted for pop shooting, plaster shooting, and snake holes. So these methods are very important. One is a pop shooting, that is a very important one activity, and plaster up shooting is also another important activity. And snake holes is also the, this is the procedures. Uh, most of the uh, known that a pop shooting and a plaster shooting and snake, uh, uh, some uh, activity will be required for a drilling and uh, again put it to small size explosives so like 30 mm or uh, and sometimes they uh, without any drilling uh, explosive can be put over that one. The, depending upon the activity, uh, technique, uh, the nomenclature is kept. That is a pop shooting, 
cluster shooting and snake coilings are the secondary blasting techniques. This is a simple figure is showing here, uh, cluster blasting. An explosive charge may be packed loosely into crack or depressing in the oversized, um, the oversized fragment, then covered with the damp with the material and fire. So this is a one type of uh, plaster, plaster nothing but a mud we are using. But the explosive can be over the boulder. Uh, this paste uh, plaster that one and uh, fire this one so this impact will be that border will be breaking this is a one uh, popular uh, methodology uh, popular uh, method for the uh, for purpose of uh, blasting pop shooting uh, uh, it is a different pop shooting is a, a blast hole is usually drilled near a crack uh, or or depression on the rock rock and direct towards the center of the mass and then charged field is the detonated. Uh, this is the one boulder is there, boulder over the hole is made and insert the explosive blast. This is another type. If these two are popularly using an open cast for secondary blasting methods. Pop shooting, that's also one by one have the advantage and disadvantage. The pop shooting uh, is a method is that are practiced when there is sufficient time to left loading operation. So whenever free time, uh, so blasting happens, secondary, the border okay, keep it on one side and later uh, free time they can blast. So such conditions without interrupting the loading activity, you can uh, simply uh, go for the um, uh, Pop shooting method. That is in this method, they practiced when there is sufficient time left to start the loading operation. The holes of 30 mm to 90 mm are drilled at the center of the boulder in the concentric uh, circle and to a depth just behind the center of the boulder. The number of holes depending on the size are uh, if the boulders. The charge consists of uh, the charge consists of uh high explosives generally prime charge is mostly used the holes are stemmed uh, perfectly to minimize the vibrations uh, the holes are stemmed perfectly to minimize the vibrations the shots can be fired with an ordinary electrical detonators uh, the machinery must be shifted to the safe distance before the firing is ordered the proper care must be taken to prevent any damage to the fly rack because secondary blasting also the some of uh, explosives can so during the prime uh, after immediately or sometimes they special take care and blast the secondary blasting without affecting the inner around the surrounding also um, this is also one of the important activity uh, that is the for example pop shooting is concerned the mud capping means uh, the mud is a uh, nothing but a clay mud can be used or called plaster shooting this method is uh, uh, employed uh, when is required to break large boulders uh, at a inaccessible places uh, for blast hole drills um, the by, by, by the charge consists of one or more cartridges uh, cut and placed over the boulder with a prime the primer can be ord ordinary detonator electric detonator t cord can be used uh, this is also one of the simple no need of the uh, further uh, making of the holes and uh, inserting is not required in the mud capping is concerned Uh, the charge uh, the charge is uh, covered uh, completely with a plaster or clay uh, resembling a small uh, hump uh, the boulder is generally wetted before charging if uh, decod is employed the charge is present uh, to increase the contact between the boulder and uh, charge 
the clay plaster must be pressed over the charge to minimize the vibrations or air blast. The charge required is more than that required for a pop shooting. What are the advantages? What do they mean by the advantages of uh, um, advantages of advantages of uh, plaster shooting uh, does not require uh, does not require drilling. Uh, scattering of boulders is uh, minimized. Blasting of boulders with uh, this method requires uh, less time. Boulders uh, which are inaccessible to drilling can also be fragmented uh, easily. Dangers uh, due to flying fragments is uh, minimized. Uh, this type of blasting reduces the shifting of equipment to large distance. Uh, so this is the advantage of the, these things. Uh, uh, in plaster uh, compared to the pop shooting. Pop shooting is required, the jack camera, small jack camera is required. In plaster shooting, does not require any drilling. Uh, moreover, scattering boulder is also minimized. Uh, by, by, uh, in case of the pop shooting, what happened, there is the more energy will be dissipated inside exactly middle. So, huge sound and also as well as uh, scattered of the material. So what are the material will be? Uh, not in the same position, it will be scattered. So again, we have to recoke with, with the dozer or something. So that is one of the advantage of uh, the, and the pop shooting. Um, blasting of uh, boulders within this method is required less time. So advantage of this one is uh, no need much time. The drilling uh, put into uh, jack hammer, operators, these are not required pop shooting is concerned. Uh, better better to the, go to the plaster shooting. Boulders which are uh, inaccessible to drilling, can also be fragmented easily. A danger due to flying fragments is minimized. This type of blasting reduces the shifting of the equipment to large distances. Uh, so these are the uh, very uh, major advantages of the one versus other. Now third one and final one is the snake holes. Um, this is uh, one of the important ones. Snake holes are most of the new in iron ore mine something. Uh, underneath of uh, uh, areas, particularly in a rock, is exposed in a um, uh, the cow crop. So nearer to that one, uh, you have to make the one hole along the um, bond, uh, bond, uh, bond uh, that, that is called the body of the, the particular rock. Um, uh, the, um, then uh, the general usually uh, explosives filled and blasting is activities going on. This type of blasting is employed to blast uh, remnant ore block and ledges. Uh, the explosives are cut into the pieces and are placed in the crevices and cracks present in the ore block. Uh, these cracks resemble snake holes and hence the name snake hole. This type of blast consumes more explosives and hence used selectively. So this is one of the important things they are showing here uh, figure. Of three, particularly what is the pop shooting? This last one is a pop shooting. Sometimes the block hole is also called the 148 number. The 147 is a snake hole. The, you see, can observe easily here. The good figure given. Another is the mud capping also here given. So go through the very clearly. I will expand some more. Some more. can easily we can understand uh, compared it to other to other one to one to other or compared to one other how the activities are going to be simply given in the uh, the secondary blasting in the three figures
right now now i think i hope that you are all are understanding the uh, what is the secondary blasting and uh, primary blastings uh, under uh, um, control things so now i'm concluding the this uh, class i'm going for the uh, generally we have to uh, some competitive examination purpose uh, this is also the snake hole uh, blasting this is uh, some more clearly given the snake hole is concerned uh, so this is a snake type that way they call as a snake hole they are preparing the uh, hole nearer to the this one instead of the uh, putting to here the effectiveness less sometimes uh, drilling is also that affecting the ground so such case you go for the this type of uh, snake hole i'll go to the uh, now there is a quiz some quiz uh, questions will be coming to the your uh, general examination uh, complete examination muffled blasting is generally employed to prevent uh, fly rock rock breaking drilling all the above so muffled blasting is one of the advantage of the all the above this type of quizzes can be get into eset examination or in a case of uh, complete examinations part of you and then i come to the so all i summarizing that one all the things so far you have discussed uh, about the deck charging or loading and its all applicability and the secondary blasting these uh, topics were covered um in a coming all the, the entire lecture one more uh, which also i have given go to you the length of the air gaps generally varies from the 20 to 35 percent the length of the hole so this is one of the the, the length of the air gap is general varies from 20 to 35 percent the length of the hole this is the actual question so actually i have to correct here this is the answer already given here so a is answer most of the uh, from dash to dash means this is a, a one is the answer the length of the air gap is generally varies from the 20 to 35 percent not more than that uh, okay this is a fixed one uh, for the concern so write the assignment on the deck charging with a neat sketch uh, the coming classes here you can practice that one the frequently uh, most of the questions are asking in this way what is the MD? explain the deck charging or loading uh, these are the questions coming to your academic part point of view not only that one may remain secondary blasting also most of the short questions we can expect what is the mean by the secondary blasting uh, what are the classification of secondary blasting and uh, explain explain the briefly this question will be coming to the academic point of view also now i concluding that thank you thank you very much all the best